guys! Welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week I'm gonna make a delicious pasta dish. This one actually reminds me of my grandma, so I really hope it turns out good. This time we're making goulash. For today's recipe, we are going to need salt and pepper. Worcestershire sauce. I still can't pronounce that, you guys, but you know what I mean. We got pasta, you can use a pound of whatever pasta you like. I happen to have rainbow rotini. I've got diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. I've got some minced garlic. I've got peppers. I've, these are just a mix of different colors of bell peppers uh, that are frozen. I've got an onion, I've got basil and bay leaves. I've got some chicken bouillon powder and I've got ground beef. That's about a pound, maybe a little bit more of a, more than a pound of ground beef. And that is all that is going on in our recipe today, guys. First things first, guys, this has to get thawed. So into the microwave it goes. I got my mini assistant today. Hi, Mia. Hi. Thanks for your help. Hey, go ahead and peel that onion for me. Okay. Is that your favorite part? <laughs> Second favorite, because I like opening cans the most. Ooh. It's fun. Cut it this way. We're gonna cut it this way. And we're gonna pop it into our little chop wizard. And now I need, need my assistant again. Cause I really need her to smash that, smash that onion. Push it down hard. Hard! Hard! Yeah, hit it. Take out all your aggressions. Got him. I did it. Now we're gonna take our ground beef and add it directly to our pot. And you know, now we're gonna go into our sear roast function and go ahead and start that. We're gonna get our ground beef browned in here. Okay guys, now that I got my ground beef going, I'm not gonna worry so much about it cooking fully before I add anything to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my onions that I've diced. Go ahead and give that a mix. Let those onions saute right along with the ground beef. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take my pepper strips that I got from the frozen department of my grocery store and I'm just gonna add about a cup of these little strips to my ground beef mixture. You see my cup is overflowing here just a little bit. It's a little bit heaping, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that right in with the onions and the ground beef. We're gonna need about two teaspoons or four cloves of garlic. There's one, and there's two. We're gonna need a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. There we are. We need one teaspoon of basil. We're gonna need one can of tomato sauce. and one can of diced tomatoes. And you're gonna need one pound of your favorite pasta. Ours just happens to be rainbow rotini. That's not necessarily your favorite, that's what we have today. I'm gonna mix that all up. And now we're gonna add three cups of water. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Now, since we added three cups of water, we're gonna need three teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. There's one, there's two, and there's three. We're gonna mix that all together. Make sure that we get that mixed in, just like that. And the last thing that we need before we seal up our pot is our bay leaves. Now I only have little tiny guys left. I don't have any big ones. So instead of using two, I'm gonna use three. So I'm gonna put my three tiny little bay leaves right on top there. And now we're ready to seal up our pot. Okay, we're gonna go into our chicken function because that's our high pressure. Uh-oh, 
looks like we got a little problem there. That's no good. Here, we're gonna take that time cook down to, let's do five minutes. I wonder why it's doing that. I'm disappointed. And start. I hope that doesn't affect my cooking. It's just my display. Hmm. I'll have to watch that, guys. But that's it. Now we just wait. Hey guys, so I don't know if this ever happens to you, but I clearly do not have something sealed properly. So here's what we're gonna do. I've turned it off. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because my pressure is not built yet because my steam is escaping and I'm gonna find out what's going on inside. Clearly something's not right here. Okay, so it's still hot, so I have to be careful, but you see this seal right here? This one is not, there it goes, you hear that click? It was not put back together right after I cleaned it. I needed to be more careful because my pot would not seal. It was a good thing my helper noticed. Thanks, helper. Because yeah. I was busy doing something else and didn't notice that all my steam was escaping. All right, let's seal this thing back up. Get this closed. Said... Okay. Now we're going to turn that back on. We're going to go to chicken. And we're gonna go time cook. We're gonna bring that down. Let's do four minutes this time because it's already been boiling for a little bit here because it wouldn't seal. Let's start that up. Let's give that one more try. <laughs> okay guys, that time it worked. Our time has expired and it's time to let the pressure out. There we go. Now we can open this up. Let's see who's inside. Okay, now this is gonna thicken as it cools for just a minute. So we're gonna let this hang out and cool for just a few minutes. Well guys, because of my mistake not sealing the pro pot properly, it looks like I've got a couple of spots on the bottom that stuck and burned. Hopefully it didn't ruin the entire pot, but I promise you this was operator error. This is not the recipe's fault. So let's get it served up and let's see what my guinea pigs think. Okay, with a few mishaps, I finally got it done, and it's plated. Now all I need are my guinea pigs. Do it. Guinea pigs! Look, there's Nano. Uh-oh, there's something creepy about him today. What's going on with you, Nano? Oh, he's hungry. What about the other two? Do I have any other guinea pigs today? No. Oh, there's there. a slow one. There's a daddy one. Where's that baby pig? Ha! <laughs> I found him! Mama, <laughs> the That's silly! Who thinks it smells awesome? Me! 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 Goulash! Goulashy! Goulash! Well, Nano is very excited. Nano, you go first. Yee, I'm excited. I've never had goulash, actually. So. Before you start, when you get your plate, you are supposed to salt and pepper it to taste yourself. So salt and pepper. you may salt and pepper it first, but I don't know if it needs yep. it yet. So salt and pepper to taste, guys. Okay. Mmm. You good? I've never had goulash. This is a good impression. You like it? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Nice. Baby, your turn. Wait, what's your shirt say? This is Grandpa's good idea. It was Grandpa's good idea. Mm-hmm. Because you and Grandpa always get in trouble together, don't yeah. you? <laughs> All right, you have a taste. Okay. Can you taste the noodles? Noodles are good. They're just How come salt. you don't have any goulash in your noodles? <gasps> I need to ask. Yeah, you asked to not have it, huh? Yeah. This does not look tasty to you? You could have some of mine. No. You want to have a taste of it? Yeah, I didn't think so. Mm. Well, what do you think? Do I get some thumbs today? <laughs> Ooh, in a circle even. Ooh. Thanks, baby. All right, what's it going to be? Should we do rock, paper, scissors over here? Uh -huh. Loser gets to eat rock, rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Shoot. Fire. Ooh, daddy goes first. Fire. That's not fair. <laughs> you cheated. One for real. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Well, Daddy still wins. All right, Dad, give that a taste. Okay. It smells really good. I like how colorful it is. 
Mmm, yum. Is it good? Not what I was expecting. What oh, were you wow. Expecting? Like an acidity, like an acid because of the tomatoes and all that. Like power tomatoes. You know, like a punch of tomatoes. Wow, this is really good. What that made is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Should we make mm. this again? Oh, absolutely. Mm, num. Do I get any thumbs today, Dad? Nice. To be to be seated. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> All right, here goes this one. Ready? Mia's turn. Yay! <laughs> she said to me, "Mom, can we not use the rainbow noodles? Because my little assistant over here was not excited about the rainbow noodles. I don't like the green one. <laughs> Just because they're green? Yeah. You're silly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the question is, do you get lots of thumbs for mom? Really? Do you actually Are like you it? Are you serious? Wow. Do you actually like it? Yes. Thanks, Mia. Thanks, Mia. Okay, you guys, my final thoughts. Um, this is really, really tasty, but it is not what I was expecting. My grandma made something that she called goulash that now I'm sort of suspecting might have just been chili mac. Um, so I want to ask you guys, have you guys had goulash before? And if you have, which flavor does it generally have? Is it more of a chili type flavor or is it just more of like an Italian pasta type flavor? Because this one was a lot more Italian pasta than I was expecting. And the one that my grandma always made was more of a chili kind of a flavor. It had more of like a cumin or chili powder type I don't even know how she made it. I'm gonna have to call her and get her recipe. Anyways, this was not what I was expecting, but it was delicious. We will still make it again because it was really good and it was super easy. So yeah, this will still get a thumbs up even though it wasn't what I was expecting. We'll make it again. So guys, what did you think of goulash? You like it, both of you? When I was a kid and I would be told that my grandma was gonna make goulash, my first instinct was always, ugh. Because it just sounds like a gross thing. Gosh! <laughs> but it was one of my favorite things that my grandma made. So I'm a little disappointed in this recipe only because it wasn't hers. But that's not the recipe's fault. I thought it was still really good. I was just disappointed that it wasn't anything like I was hoping it would be. But I'm going to have to call her and ask her what she puts in it. Because clearly what she makes is not the same thing. Mom. Anyway, time for bed, kiddos. So... If you like this video, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. If you want to make this channel strong, share it with your friends. And now, good night, <coughs> YouTube. See you tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Oh, there you are. Poof! You go!